Hello everyone, welcome to this session of in-depth economics. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about real and nominal GDP as well as GDP deflator. Please watch the tutorial till the very end to understand the concepts well. And if you find the video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. You can also take screenshots of some of the slides for future reference. So let's begin. GDP is a key economic indicator that helps to measure a country's economic performance. An increase in GDP is interpreted as a sign that the economy is doing well. Let us assume GDP of a particular economy increased from $10 trillion in 2022 to $12 trillion in 2023. Simply stated, GDP has increased by 20%. But this increase in GDP may not only be a sign of increase in production, but also increase in the prices of goods and services. Therefore, in order to compare GDP figures of a country at different points of time, we calculate the inflation-adjusted GDP of a country. So, GDP can be categorized into nominal GDP which is measured at current market prices and does not account for inflation and real GDP which is adjusted for inflation providing a more accurate reflection of an economy's size and how it's growing over time. Nominal GDP measures the total value of all goods and services produced in an economy over a specific period usually a year or a quarter using current prices. Real GDP measures the total value of all goods and services produced in an economy over a specific period adjusted for inflation or deflation using constant prices from a base year. Let us suppose a country produces only one product, bread. In the year 2022, it had produced 100 units of bread. Price was rupees 10 per bread. So, GDP at current prices was 100 into 10 equal to rupees 1000. In the year 2023, the same country produced 110 units of bread at price rupees 15 per bread. Therefore, nominal GDP will be 110 into 15, which is equal to rupees 1650. Both these figures provide us the value of nominal GDP. Now, in order to compare GDP figures of two different years, we need to calculate real GDP. So, 2023 will be the current year and 2022 will be the base year. Real GDP in 2023 calculated at the price of the year 2022 will be equal to 110 into 10 which is equal to 1100 rupees. The ratio of nominal GDP to real GDP gives us an idea of how the prices have changed from the base year to the current year. What is GDP deflator? GDP deflator is a price index that measures the average change in prices of all goods and services included in GDP. It is used to adjust nominal GDP to obtain real GDP. In other words, the ratio of nominal to real GDP is called GDP deflator. So, GDP deflator will be equal to nominal GDP divided by real GDP. Let's consider the previous example. So, GDP deflator will be equal to 1650 divided by 1100 which is equal to 1.50. This implies that the price of bread produced in 2023 was 1.5 times the price in 2022, which is reflecting the increase in the price of bread from Rs 10 to Rs 15. GDP inflator can also be denoted in percentage terms. So in this particular example, GDP inflator will be equal to 1.5 into 100, which is 150%. We have come to the end of today's tutorial. If you find the video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel for weekly updates on different topics related to your syllabus. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and happy learning.